I'm JJ Bush. Um, I've been working in treatment for almost 20 years, former addict. I'm here with Derek Coleman. I'm sure most of you know him. How you First doing, Nice to meet How you. you? Making my hand look small. <laughs> right. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. So what about your um, NBA career? Obviously your first round pick. Yes. Yes. First first pick. Overall. Yeah, first pick overall. Yeah. So you're an all-star. Yep, yeah, rookie of the year. Uh, and I'd like to mention one of the few guys that's dunked on Shaquille O'Neal. I had to watch that a couple times last night. And I think you gave him one of these yeah, after. I did. So you yeah. see the Kim based No, no, I know. Yeah, yes. yeah. But um I mean my NBA career has spanned fifteen years. Yeah, you know, it's a long career. Yeah, starting yeah. In, in New Jersey, um, then going to Philadelphia, yeah. Charlotte. You played with a lot of Yeah, I played a lot of great players. Yeah. Always had great teammates, no matter where, where I've been. Allen Iverson, um, Kenny Anderson, Drazen Petrovic, right. yeah. passed yeah. away, you know, when we were in Jersey. Chuck Daly was our, our yeah. coach at Bad time. Boys. I'm yeah. a huge Pistol oh, fan, yeah, so grew up watching. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, for those 15 years, I had an opportunity to play against and with a lot of great players. That's great. That's yeah. great. Now, another question I wanted to bring up, you know, I work in substance abuse, former addict, got myself cleaned up, and I've been working in rehab almost 20 years. Yes. Um, I work with people coming off anything mm -hmm. from every area. Right. Um, how do you feel, you know, where do you think substance abuse, alcoholism is in, in today's you know, America, all over the United well, States, yes. with youth yes. or whatever. Without question, I, I think it's, it's gotten bigger with youth to a situation where, you know, when we were growing up, it was always to sneak and take a drink. Right, right, right. You know, right. Now with the youth, you see them more taking pills. Yeah, which are prescription meds yeah. are horrible. Yeah, yeah, prescription medications. Yeah. you know, they're stealing yeah. from their mom's cabinet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and yeah. Um, when you talk about addiction. You know, people don't understand. Just, just like you and yeah. I being athletes. Right, right. So I can have surgery or something. Yeah. And yeah. they're going to give me a whole bottle. Yeah. Right. Oxycodone. Yeah. Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Happy right. purpose. Yeah. yeah. For the pain. Yeah. And, you know, you can get addicted. Yeah. Easily. And a lot of that people way. don't understand that. They don't understand. Just that. taking it for a number of days, yes. your body will build a dependency. Not necessarily yeah. run the streets looking for heroin. Right. No. Like, you stop taking it, and then you got to play. You're like, yeah. oh, I have to take I this. I can't. It. I can't go out on the court. Yes. Right? Yes. So, and, and, and that's the sad part about. So again, for you to be a recovery addict. Mm -hmm. Yep. And like you said earlier, I don't. I never look at people as addicts because you know what? It's a roller coaster. And that's how it's right. You know, I, I completely get it. I've got a past as the past. Yes. Now I'm helping exactly. people. I feel good. You look great, by the way. Thank you. And yeah. for you to sit here and talk about that, that's a blessing in itself. It really is. What can we do to change the youth or to educate them so that they don't run into these situations? I mean, yeah. other than raising them right, you know, no. hanging out with the right people, but. You know, what, what, what can you, we do? Well, what you have to think about when you're talking about our kids, mm -hmm. you know, our kids have so many social problems that they come with at home. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you would have to go back to the structure of the family, and a lot of kids don't have that. Right. And that's a huge problem right, yeah. in what we're dealing with. But I think that, you know, to get kids exposed to what to do and what not to do, you have to still start at an early age. Yeah, I agree. You know, so we got to catch kids in elementary school. Right. What do you, you think know? about drug testing in schools? I, I, I disagree with that. I think that. they're doing so much yeah. of it. It's like, yeah. I, I, I just disagree with okay. it. You no, know, yeah. at, at some point in time, every kid is going to take a drink. Right. Um, right. Smoke a joint, right, right. Try a pill, or right, something. And, right. and we can't watch our kids twenty no, no, four hours. Right, right. You know, that's a part of life. Right. It's how you come back from what you exactly. Been. How you get up, get that's up off the ground. Yeah. yeah. That, that are you a fighter or that you are? Right, right, right. Exactly. That up makes up you the right. person that you are. Though. Yeah. That's where you see the character in somebody. Exactly. When they fall, Thank how you. do you get up? Thank you. How do you handle? You know what? And who's there to help you? Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, and you'll find who, who your real you. people are right there. Your real exactly. people are your true friends. And then when you're when you're yeah. down and out, you definitely find out. Yes. You see mom and dad or mm -hmm. brother, and then the other friends. Oh, they yeah. disappeared all right. of a sudden. Yeah. So that's why family's so important. So important. Very important. Good. Well, thank you very much, oh, Derek. You're welcome. Appreciate thank you. It.